going on guys welcome back to the channel finally it's been like fucking shit two years uh last you saw me film was probably in arkansas i finally decided to get back at it i found a videographer here in oklahoma starting off the same way i actually started off the channel originally with chest and triceps so i'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking in the intro uh, i'm just getting back into it i'm gonna start with flat press dumbbells since i don't have a a reliable training partner i'm gonna use these i kind of like it just easier to get off. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> so I was thinking about that. Of course, I'm out of breath because, you know, I'm fat right now. But this is what I was thinking about is uh, a lot of people are uh, really afraid to get uncomfortable in the off season. To make the progress they need to and honestly it's not always that fun like lifting heavy is fun but like feeling like this is not that fun <laughs> tying your shoes putting socks on but too many people want to stay aesthetic for instagram and it's really just bullshit none of those people really care about you honestly uh they just like your physique and like if you were going to not follow you because you get fat in the off season like this doesn't make any sense honestly like and it's not even healthy but you know if you want to be competitive or you want to be a bodybuilder like you want to gain weight like people always say uh, you have to get uncomfortable like and i was just talking to someone about this on instagram because i posted a story where i was like 205 pounds and believe it or not like i remember when i hit 205 it was like a celebration like i never thought i would get over 200 because believe it or not i was a smaller guy i had a bigger frame but i didn't fill it out at all and uh you know it just makes me think a lot like looking back it's like crazy because it's like if I told someone then I was gonna be 275, they'd think I was nuts. But also looking back, like, when I hit 220, I felt like this. When I hit 240, I felt like this. 260, 270, 290, like, I've always felt like this, I'm trying to grow, and so many people are afraid to do that, get out of their comfort zone, but it's, it's so worth it. Like, that's why I progress so much show to show, because I'm not afraid to do that. I'm gonna try to hit these 150s. I did it last week, I think for, nine and a half, something like that. So for some reason I'm noticing like, it's actually harder for me to do it this way than last week this was taken and I was kicking it up. It seemed to be easier, which would seem the other way around, but so I'm gonna see if I can hit him again for 10, maybe 11. <clears throat> I think I got him for like 11 and a half. You guys can tell me in the comments. But uh, both the Smiths are taken. So I, unfortunately I gotta do my flat press next, like machine press, which I hate doing because obviously like now my strength's gonna be shot, but it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta do that. Um, something I was doing in between sets that you probably didn't see is I'm always taking notes. And I don't see enough people doing that. Like I think it's super important. I know. You know, like, of course, don't get caught up in the numbers and all that. But at the same time, you know, the reason I continue to get bigger while eating is because I'm always chasing these numbers. Like, you know, the, I think the important part is mentally, like, don't beat yourself up if you don't hit it. But as long as you stay chasing the numbers and you're getting stronger and you're eating your food, you're going to get bigger muscles. <laughs> like, so I, and I always love that because then it's like a game in the gym. Like, last week I know I hit it for... 10 so this week I was gonna try to hit for 11 and a half but like where I mean don't get hard on yourself is like if you have to work out at midnight or 3 a.m. and you fall short on your numbers like obviously it's different so always take into account like how many meals you've had and you know what that day looks like how stressful it was how much water you had that's huge and um, Smith opened up so we're actually gonna do that instead uh, I'm gonna be doing working sets of eight to my heaviest set normally I start with that so probably still this is where I'm talking about the numbers. Like I'm gonna look at my numbers 
I'm gonna try to hit at least the same numbers, but you know, we're all human and you have to realize I just maxed out on flat bench with uh, dumbbells. So if I don't hit the numbers, like it's not the time to beat myself up. Like the order was different and I always make notes of that. And I always make notes of the equipment I use because they can be different, different cables, different leg extensions. So just food for thought. Have you ever done it like this? <laughs> Isn't it so much easier? You just figure it out here. And now you know it's gonna be good. That was bullshit. No, I got seven, honestly. Not bad, last week I got nine and a half at 345. Um, but it was my first movement last week, so, you know, being second movement, hitting seven at 355, I'm, I'm happy with it. I can work uh, to hit eight next week, for sure. Now we'll do the flat machine press. So I always do this one like set up for a drop set. So this is like my base, the plate and the quarter. And then I add these two plates. So the goal is to do eight and then take a plate. Honestly do as many as I can, but like I really want to maximize the last set. So I'll probably go for like 12 to 15 on this second one here. And then when those are off, honestly as much as many as I can get. Cause this is my last exercise for chest. So I want to get like as big of a pump as I can. And then I think I have just two tricep exercises and I'm all done. So normally I start out with, uh, I call them Hunter triceps, which you'll see when I do them. I only call them that because Hunter Lavrada does them and I started kind of doing them because I like the way they feel. I'll do them after this because all the cables for that are taken. Um, but just re regular tricep, rope, push downs, nothing crazy. Uh, one thing though that you'll notice if you continue watching my videos is I pretty much hit some variation of arms every single day now because my arms have been a lagging part of my physique for like forever. And like, I really need them to grow to be a good pro. I feel like I have a great physique besides my arms and I don't want them to drag me down. So uh, it could be as something as easy as like hitting a hundred reps or something, but I'm trying to get blood flow in my biceps and triceps every single day just to try to get them to grow. So kind of like what I was talking about earlier, less is more for all my main groups. Uh, we're seeing if more is more for my arms because I had never done this high volume for my arms and way back when it worked for my arms. So it doesn't hurt to try. I've been trying it the other way for a long time. So I'm gonna kind of overload the arms with volume and see if they respond. Honestly, in the last five weeks, I think they have uh, just based on pictures. Not like a huge increase or anything dramatic, but they feel bigger and they look slightly bigger. So hopefully we're on the right track. It's just like everybody else, man. Like I don't see myself as any different, honestly. Like 
your body dysmorphia just gets worse and like i still in my mind look like a small piece of shit so but like honestly like to give you perspective when i first started at 18 uh just eating six meals a day and trying to bodybuild i remember my dad like he loves me you know supports me but even he like with our genetics in the family he was like dude like you can try but i don't know how big you can get and that's why i always tell people like fuck what everybody says just give everything you have and just see for yourself <laughs> I you, man. Yeah, man. It was good talking to you guys. Thank you. Nice meeting you. I always see Hunter Labrada doing them, so I just call him the Hunter Tricep Extensions. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen him do them. Just grab one in each arm, extend. It's become one of my favorites and a staple. I'm going to hit three sets of this, and then we're going to call it there. Okay. <laughs>